Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. video. In this video, we are going to look at what is a collections class in Java, what is the use of it and what are the different methods it actually offers and how we can use in our real-time programming. We are going to see what is add all method, sort method, copy method, fill method and how we can get the synchronous list, how we can get the synchronous set, how we can get the synchronous map. So without any further delay, let's get started. Here I have written a Java program to demonstrate the utility class which is called collections. So if you guys see here, collections is a utility class. The Java Oracle team already developed a class called collections. So in order to provide some of the utility uh, methods to us, to the developers, so that is why they have created this uh, particular class. And as a developer, we should know what are the methods they have created so that we can simply use it in our real time programming to make our life easy. So there are some uh, basic methods which I have written here. Uh, just try to understand. So here, what I'm trying to do is list countries is equal to new array list of. So I'm creating a new countries list of array list and I'm trying to add the elements. So in our previous videos where we have our array list, if I want to add the elements, right, what I should do is countries dot add of USA, countries dot add of Canada, countries dot add of India. But to make our life easy, so what they did is there is a method called add all. So in the add all method, the first parameter is the list and the second parameter is the list of elements you want to add it. So if you guys do it here, so all the countries uh, will be added here. Let me go and execute this program. Yeah, if you guys see here, the countries are USA, Canada, India. So it has been added in, in single line of code. You can able to make uh, the code very easy and simple to look. Okay. And similarly, if I want to sort the countries, right? Sort the elements inside the collections, right? So what I can do is collections dot sort of the list I can pause it. Then it will by default, it will do natural uh, sorting order, which is nothing. But if it is a string, it will be in the ascending uh, the alphabetical order. That is why it starts with C, which is Canada and then I, India and then USA. But if I want to uh, reverse the order, right? So what I can simply do is collections dot sort of the list, which I want to sort it. Then if I want to do a reverse order, right? So what I can do is comparator dot reverse order. They have introduced a one more method called reverse order in the comparator interface also nowadays so that we can simply use reverse order. So whatever the order it is currently holding, it will simply reverse it. If you guys see here, currently it is having Canada, India, USA, right? And now if you guys see here, reverse order is USA, India, Canada. It is exactly opposite to the above one. Canada, India, USA and after reverse it is USA, India, Canada. So that is how the sorting, the sort method works. And now I am going to have one more list which is called my list and where I am just adding uh, add all of my list of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So here I want to copy the countries, the countries whatever I have it before into this particular list. So what I can do is simply I can have a method called copy. So if I want to copy the elements from one uh, one list to the another list, I can say collections dot copy of. So the, this is the destination and this is the source. So from where to where. So from countries, I want to copy to my list, right? So what it will do is it won't actually uh, replace it. It will simply copy it. So when it copies it, what it will do is USA, India, Canada is already there. And on top of it, it will add um, the, the extra element, which is called Wednesday. So if you guys see here, USA, India, Canada, and then Wednesday. So this is how the copy works. It won't replace it. It will just simply add the extra elements from the source to the destination. And there is a method called fill. So fill is nothing but just fill it with any dummy data. Or if you have a list of, let's say, millions of records, and if you want to replace all the millions of records with some uh, same string or same value, right? So what you can do is collections dot fill off that list you can pass it and then dummy data so or whatever you want to fill it. So what it will do is you have like four elements, right? USA, India, Canada, Wednesday, right? So four elements are added or four elements are replaced with this one. Dummy data, dummy data, dummy data, dummy data like that, right? So this is how this fill method works. So fill is actually kind of replacing it. And similarly, we have like synchronous list of synchronized set of synchronous map of. So we have, we will use this one whenever we want to convert a particular collection into synchronized type. So synchronization works when we want to go for multi-threading. If you want to make it thread safe, you have to go for synchronization and to make that one achieve. So you can simply use collections dot synchronized list of, you have to pass the list. And the similarly, if you want to uh, make your set as synchronized, you can say collections dot synchronized set of, you have to pass your set. 
and similarly collections dot synchronized map of your map so while you passing these parameters with your actual collection um, object so that will become synchronized one so you can simply use it as a thread safe so this is all about like collections um, class in java so if you guys open this collections class in the oracle documentation you will see n number of uh, methods they have created or used it so you can simply go through it if you guys want to know more about all these classes and methods so you can simply go through here the actual implementation you can able to see it in your uh, in the programming like where we have our um, uh, oracle documentation and you can see what is the parameter we have to pass and what is the value we are going to return back so this is all about like collections uh, class in java uh, i hope you guys have understood this concept this is very very useful when you go for uh, writing a program to make your uh, coding like looks very simple and easy to understand so if you guys know all these methods you can simply use it let's say adding a, uh, elements to the list or sorting it reverse sorting or filling it with some dummy data or making copy from one list to another list all this stuff and also making synchronized versions of collections right so you guys can write the same program in your eclipse and try to see how it works and let me know your comments in the comment section thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next interesting video bye bye i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys